This week, the Diskim Foundation has added the Lentegeer School for learners with special education needs to its family of random acts of kindness beneficiaries, highlighting one-on-one -on -one caring for the community. A school started 25 years ago when this hospital was built. We started off with 18 children and we are now nearly 300 children. We are school catering for the education and needs of mentally challenged learners. They also have secondary challenges. Some of them are autistic, some of them suffer from epilepsy, some of them are cerebral palsy, some of them are Downs. We provide uh, education services for children aged 6 to 18 from the Mitchell's Plain area, from the Kailiche area, from the Philippi areas in the Western Cape, Cape Town. We aim to teach children to read, to write, to acquire and develop the appropriate life skills so that they can function as independently as possible and on graduation from the school enter the broader community out there, engage in work and other normal activities of social life. When they're in their final year, when they're 17 or 18 years old, our occupational therapists would then pre prepare them to go out into the market and they would source um, areas where they could possibly go and work. So they would approach some stores in the community and also the sheltered employment, uh, laundry facilities, cleaning uh, facilities so islanders could go and apply the skills that they've learned at school. The main aim of the school is to um, educate our learners so they can be socially accepted into the communities that they come from and also educate them for the world of work. There's one or two that might be able to go and work in the open labour market, so we prepare them for those, for the days after school. What's nice for us from 94.5 KFM is our partnership with the Discam Foundation. You know, in tandem we're able to, to unlock so many resources for so many deserving causes and, you know, no more deserving cause here than a, a school like, uh, and, a, and a facility like Lentech here that does so much good work in the community anyway but they had poor, fairly poor um, uh, kitchen facilities. As you all know, we cannot teach a hungry child. We asked Diskin to assist us to equip our kitchen so that we can cook meals for 100 people in one go. Random Acts of Kindness kind of continued today because we recently heard about a school in Mitchell's Plain called the Lentegeer School for Learners with Special Needs. Principal of the Lentegeer School, Awadi Anaidu, is on the line with us this morning. You've told us that you're in need of some, obviously, some essential things. You need a new stove, you need a new fridge, you need kitchen equipment, and you need to obviously help expand the feeding program as well because there's so many more that you'd like to have included in that feeding program. That's exactly right. Wadi, 94.5 KFM, together with our team at the Diskim Foundation, are going to give you these things to the value of 50,000 Rand. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much, Ryan. We've also got the founder of the Discam Foundation, Lynette Saltzman, on the line. Lynette, thank you so very much once again for coming on board with us this morning. No, it's a pleasure, and thank you for uh, having us with you. Um, we're very pleased to be able to do the work that we are doing with you. Discam Pharmacies wanted to do something to make a difference. We were able to, you know, donate um, 50,000 rand to them to upgrade those facilities, to, to upgrade their kitchen um, so that they can provide three square meals a day to, to these kids. So we're very grateful to the Discount Foundation because now we'll be able to serve the meals by 10 o'clock easily with no stress. And, and on behalf of the children, their parents, our staff, our board of governors, I, must, I need to thank the Discount Foundation for their kind donation because for years to come our children will be enjoying meals prepared with the equipment that is given us by 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's make 